seemed like to me, and y'all wouldn't know. I don't know who did what, but it seemed like right. to me because you didn't know about it. It wasn't cited. You guys, I don't have the tweet right here, but y'all can go to her page. And what it said was something to the effect of, I guess that that smack talk is reserved for the internet because nothing is happening in person. I felt, uh, I felt like that was ridiculous because I felt like that was her antagonizing people. Why would you invite that type of energy? Why would you even put anybody in the mind frame of coming to say something cross to you or to do anything? Smack talk. People having their opinions about you and not liking you. We That's what social media is, us being social. But once again, I feel like these are things to try to trick us out of our positions, to get us to act a fool, act up and engage it so she can do what she ultimately did from jump, which was be victim. Because you're so mean and petty. What did you do? Yeah. What did you do? That was and I want to... Hi, you guys. So YouTube and the Restless continues. So YouTubers Armand Wiggins and Milagro Grams of Mob Radio, they went to down to the courthouse for the, I believe, the sentencing of Tory Lanez. Now, I know he's also trying to file an appeal. So I don't know if they were supposed to discuss that or not. I really don't know. All I know is that they postponed it again um, another week or however long. So anyway, long story uh, short, just for me to get into what I'm getting into. Armand and Milagro, as you can hear, you can go over to both their channels and hear their point of views on what happened um, were removed, I guess, from the courtroom. Um, to my understanding, they were on devices, um, laptops and cell phones in an area where they told them that they could not have these things, right? So they were doing it anyway. So, um, and it sounds like they were trying to say this certain reporter may have went and told on them. Um, I don't know if they, one of them had words with this person or not. I don't know why um, this person would you know, pick on, if you will, Armand and uh, Milagro. So as you can hear, they're both talking about it. Now, I remember during the trial, I was listening to some of the commentary for some of the YouTubers, and they all were kind of at different times pointing to the fact that there was some type of tension between mainstream media and the YouTubers who were there. Um sitting in during this trial and so I also heard that Milagro and Nikki and Knight got into a, a yelling match child down there so that could have been a part of it as well you know people always leave things out of their stories right so I don't know but um they were not the only ones saying it it was quite a few YouTubers that I was you know kind of trying to catch some of their commentary for different perspectives um, they were all kind of saying that, that they felt like some tension. They were saying even TMZ, when their staff was there, they kind of was on the media side. And, and you know, everybody from YouTube was kind of on this other side. And they didn't, they felt uncomfortable, in other words, about the treatment. So, I don't know. Um, and I think there was an article that someone wrote in mainstream media about YouTubers and integrity. I won't go off into that. Um, and everybody thought they were talking about Milagro, right? Because of her connection or affiliation, if you will, to Tory Lanez. So I don't know. But um, what do you think about them losing their media passes? Like Milagro is saying in the video, you can go, she still can go. Uh, and sit in as the public. The only time that would become an issue is if the judge says no public allowed, right? Then obviously they wouldn't be able to go in the courtroom. Um, but now, oftentimes if they do that, they won't let the media in either press. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. Armand was saying that this lady was bringing up his outfit. You know, it's I mean, most people go to court in business attire, so I think he looked, he was okay. Um, you know, he's also a brand ambassador for Fashion Nova Men, 
So obviously that is the other reason that he's wearing certain outfits. But I think that's his business, right, at the end of the day. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on between Armand Malagro and this woman, <laughs> you know, that they're having this back and forth with. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Um, what do you think about them losing their media passes? And do you think that maybe mainstream media, are, maybe they're taking issue with YouTubers, um, taking a little bit of their shine or attention? Maybe they feel like it's clicks and views that they could be getting at their stations, um, you know, channel, CNN, ABC, whoever. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you watched their live last night, let us know what you thought about it. And um, what do you think about the media versus YouTube channel? So I really don't know what the, the big issue is, but let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next video.